hello guys i'm gonna show you in this video how you can uh, boost your fps in uh, battlefield 5 if you got like low end uh, cpu first of all what you have to do i have tried everything and uh, it was really hard to realize uh, how to boost fps problem is we got old cpu I got uh, quad core that's E5-3570, uh, it's like 8 years old uh, uh, CPU. For this game, what's important, it's, po it's important is uh, that you have DirectX uh, 12 enabled here. Uh, why that? Uh, in uh, DirectX 12 you got like uh, 10 to 20 uh, percent FPS boost. I don't know how, but it's probably putting more stress on your RAM uh, than on your uh, uh, CPU. Uh, so enable DirectX uh, 12. Also uh, settings which you need to use is uh, you have to put uh, stress on your GPU rather than your uh, CPU. So put texture quality if you got uh, good GPU. I got irx uh, 570 so if you got low end gpu then uh, you have to try put medium or high settings if you got better gpu like rx 570 or uh, uh, 10 uh, 60 or something like that put your textures on the ultra quality filtering also on ultra uh, terrain quality on ultra this on ultra anti-aliasing ultra in and uh, occlusion on ult on maximum hbao uh, so that's uh, what you need to do in game you have to put stress on your gpu so uh, what we gonna do now i'm gonna show you what you have to do in registry file so go to your <coughs> here start bar uh, type reg edit and this registry editor will pop up click here and um, wait a second uh, you will have situation like this so find age key local machine after that uh, find software open software then go to the microsoft after microsoft you have to go all the way down and find Windows NT. After Windows NT, go to current version. Uh, after that, find image uh, file execution options. In this file, uh, you will see a lot of files, but the uh, problem is there is no BF5EXE. Uh, you have to click there and go new and go key in that key you have to type like this bf5.exe when you made uh, that file you have to click on that file and go again new and key and uh, type perf options when you made that file you have to go like this you will have this empathy, empathy. Uh, go right click, uh, go new and find this D word 32-bit uh, value. Click uh, on that and uh, type CPU priority class. When you made CPU priority class, uh, double click on it and uh, change value of the data to 4. 4 is uh, uh, its real-time priority in settings, I will show you now. When you made that file in uh, regedit, you can close that and uh, open taskbar, task manager. Uh, when you done that, click on the right side and uh, go to the uh, settings, detail. Uh, when you done that, uh, like this, right click and go to the details. Uh, find BF5X and uh, right click on it then go set priority in set priority choose real time click on that 
and close it's important that you close task manager because it's uh, drawing your cpu power when you do that when you done that you you can expect like um, i think 20 percent of the fps boost so basically you have to uh, change your settings to put stress on your uh, gpu you have to uh, go to the reg edit and put the command there and you have to every time you start your battlefield you have to go to the task manager and choose uh, uh, cpu priority to real time so every time you start battlefield it start loading you go to taskbar change priority second settings and go to the uh, real time i i can't show you my uh, fps in game because uh, of recording uh, and uh, uh, fps it's like 15 to 20 percent lower but now i have like uh, 70 percent uh, 70 uh, fps in any game before that i had like uh, droppings to the 45 or 50 so i got like 20 percent at least boost also if you don't have dual chain channel uh, memory you have to get another stick of ram to boost your performance you will get like double fps uh, for that even then i had problem with uh, two sticks of ram then i got like uh, two more sticks i got like two uh, sticks of a uh, gb ram and now i added like uh, two more of uh, four gb and the game is working without lag on ultra settings almost not not all but uh, the main settings for the graphics are on, on ultra lighting is not fx is not post post process mesh but uh, that's because of my uh, cpu bottleneck but if you got good graphic card and the uh, low uh, cpu you can still get your fps boost and you can play this game without any problem try that and write me in the comments uh, have you solved your problem if i helped you you can subscribe to my channel i will uh, post uh, many other videos of gameplay and stuff like that and whatever i find out i will post here but this took me like hours and hours to realize what i have to do in order to get stable 60 fps I had problem because uh, first I had one uh, stick of RAM, then I got second and problem was it was like 40 FPS. When I put two more sticks I had sometimes 60 but it's uh, when it's uh, shoot out it dropped to the 45 to 50 so it was unplayable. Uh, when I uh, added this uh, to my settings to my reg edit and when I put uh, CPU priority in taskbar to the real time I got like uh, 20 more FPS without problem so you had to try this and uh, remember these settings are the best if you got decent uh, GPU when I say decent that doesn't need to have uh, like 8 gigabytes of ram or anything 4 gigabytes of ram rx uh, 570 or uh, 1060 is enough you won't have any problem but problem is cpu so every time you start your game you have to go to the task manager and just put that on the real time priority and in the in the reg edit you have only one time to type that command and that's all so thank you guys uh, if you, I helped you write down your comments and see you soon.